This is a quick demo on how I duplicate 3D models. And there's a couple different ways to do it. There's a, um, uh, this is uh, one of the easiest techniques and everyone can do it because most of the people have this type of material to duplicate in the office. Um, I like to use Chroma Pan. Most people use it just to take impressions. You follow the directions on the back, it's pretty simple. One of the things that can go terribly wrong with duplicating is if someone picks the wrong tray to duplicate. If the model doesn't fit and it, you're cramming it in there, the model will be come out when you duplicate it, it'll be distorted. So it's very important to fix to practice before you go ahead and duplicate to get the right size model. So you know that there's nothing touching and you know it'll be passive. I'm doing an upper and lower. It typically takes three scoops. Actually, four scoops, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm doing a it's going to take four scoops. And according to the directions, four scoops and about 80 milliliters of water. So I'm going to go add the water. Proceed to mix vigorously. You're going to fill your tray. And I always say to work pretty fast, don't dilly dally. Now you could fill the palette up, but when you're doing the models, it's not that hard. And you're not you're going to squeeze it all the way down and flip. So it's not a very hard process, it just needs to be done fast. You can see that this type of algae, it starts to set up, it starts to change colors. Now that my tray is loaded. I can submerge my model. And you can flip. Now it's only been about five minutes, probably under five minutes, but I can, the stuff sets up pretty fast where you can pull these out. There you have it, a duplicated impression. Now I'm going to pour these up and we'll get back to you. Now this demonstration is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to duplicate another, a different 3D model on my Biostar. This is another technique that I use. The material, the material I use is three millimeter mouth guard. You can also use two millimeter mouth guard. It just depends on your preference. Both of them give really good adaptation and shows you, I'll demonstrate when it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. Bring up some pressure. This one, is a lot easier, but it's not as cost effective. These discs cost a couple dollars each, and but it's pretty simple. It gives a pretty good model. Now this method is not as cost effective as using Chroma Pan, but it does give you a very accurate duplication, and Chroma Pan gives you a very accurate duplication too. So between the two of them, you're both going to be very accurate.
you get a really great adaptation. And while this is still warm, you can pop it out. You can always tell by how good the model is by the adaptation. You want to have a nice tight fit along the base margins. Okay, these are ready to pour up. Here's the finished models. I carefully remove them. So here's the duplicate of this one. And here's the duplicate of this one. And here's the duplicate of here's the duplicate of the lower model. Now I'll trim these up and get these ready to make prizes. Now, the Biostar material is a little bit different. The Biostar material is a little bit different. I submerge it in extremely hot water. This softens it up so you won't break teeth. Just enough to remove it. Otherwise, the material gets pretty stiff when, it's, when it gets cold. But I figured it out that by heating it, it makes it just enough where you don't, I'm not gonna, where you can peel it off without breaking teeth. There you go.